Well, hey guys, I'm out here at Charles Point. Uh, I'm gonna talk to you about Jane Jacobs' um, second cla classification of money, what she called cataclysmic money. Um, cataclysmic money is just a massive uh, influx of money into an area that distorts the economy. Um, you have gold rushes. In the 1960s, there was what's called Dutch disease, where the Netherlands had massive amount of money, oil money coming in, uh, similar to the Saudis that just uh, distorted the economy. Everything became oriented around uh, petroleum, uh, and the normal uh, economic uh, structures no longer functioned as they should. But we also have, uh, usually, it's called uh, cataclysmic money, it's called by, caused by government. In Harrison County, I think uh, Charles Point's the most egregious example of this. Uh, it costs, uh, there's $35 million in bonds outstanding for Charles Point 1 and $30 million uh, for Charles Point 2. And uh, it, it, it's costing two and a half million a year in interest. Only uh, it's not really being paid. Charles Point, I don't think, has ever paid all of its bonds. So in 2013, the county bought uh, seven and a half million in property from Genesis Partners and gave it to Bridgeport to build their sports complex on. And now they're in trouble again. Just last week, uh, the county commission met uh, for uh, forbearance agreement with the bank. They went in executive session, so we don't know the details of it, except that it's $8 million uh, that they're, they're behind in payments again. So $65 million uh, uh, in bonds, plus $7.5 million that the county has paid out of pocket to, to, to keep the TIF afloat. It starts adding up. And, uh, you know, the airport TIF and... Uh, White Oaks stiff are, are not quite as in bad shape, but the county uh, taxpayers have invested about $150 million, uh, pushing $150 million along Jerry Dove. That's called cataclysmic money because the expenditure of that money is what enabled all the businesses to leave downtown. For example, we have Toothman and Rice here in Charles Point that left. White Oaks, I don't even want to talk about all the business that left Clarksburg because of that. It was cataclysmic to the city of Clarksburg. Um, and it may end up being cataclysmic to Bridgeport if Charles Point goes bare, belly up. It's a distortion of the, of the natural functioning economy. And I'll tell you what else is cataclysmic is that it doesn't seem too many people on our council or too many of our candidates even comprehend that this exists. Um... It's something we urgently need to come to terms with and address. Uh, I still got one other kind of money to, uh, to deal with, and that'll be the subject of my next video. Uh, talk at you later.